the church of all people need to be in play, choosing, selecting leaders. We, we have been commissioned by God to choose the best leaders. God calls and chooses the best leaders. He points them out. He points who to follow by the principles that guide their lives. And we've got to put those kind of people in place or we're going to lose freedom. The deceiver divides and destroys. He is the father of lies and murder. Yeah. That's what he is. And he is controlling much, too much, and the majority of leadership in place right now, sadly, in Washington, in our government. It's heartbreaking. Every one of us who know there is truth that sets us free need to return to that truth and to those principles. Father, our nation needs to repent and return to you and your principles and your truth and to what our founders magnificently understood and gave us. Now, Lord, please restore our land. Heal our land. Give us a miracle, a transformation of our nation and our national leadership. Get the church to come out from undercover, to put the light of their love and their principal lives and their beliefs up on the lampstand. Lord, help them to be strong and courageous, to drive the wolves away from the sheep poles and away from the sheep, to drive the briars and the thorns away from the fertile fields of opportunity. God in heaven, please, please raise up your people to take a stand for your truth, fearlessly, faithfully. In Jesus' name I pray. It's not too late. We can see freedom saved. We can see peace secured. But we have to come out from undercover. We have to get the light on the lampstand. We have to stand like a family, like a mighty armor, a, a mighty army of overcomers, more than conquerors. Please do it. Please do it. God, raise them up in Jesus' name. 